more VSH Queens I'm adding to my apiary because I've had such great luck with these bees. I got to mention this cart. My neighbors or my, that used to be my neighbors that moved away, Alan Corgia and his wife, they gave me this cart. Uh, I don't remember what year it was. 2018, 2019. This has been the most used thing on my homestead. And I use it for ways it was never intended to be used. Um, I've been moving those long hive boxes between this cart and that dolly right there. That dolly on this hillside is a workout and a half. But on this cart, it's not too bad. Generally, I use it to move feed. When I buy feed in bulk, I usually buy like 20 or 30 50 pound bags and I load up about 10 on this cart. Way overloaded. I mean, I don't know what its capacity is, but I'm guessing 500 pounds is overloaded. I've used it to load up landscaping blocks just tall as I could stack them in there. And it pulls easy. It works great. I don't even know where they got this thing at. But uh, I use it all the time on the homestead and uh, kind of lost contact with them. I think that's called Groundwork. Is it? company that makes the cart anyways the tires go flat and i had to put air in it but still uh alan i really appreciate this cart you have no idea how much use i get out of it so if uh, you haven't run across this video reach out and say hi it's been several years since i've seen you and you missed out on the whole entire cancer deal so that's behind me though and uh onward and upward as we say I'm sure I probably mentioned this a time or two, but I'm kind of crazy. I don't know if I should record this or not. This might end up on America's Funniest Home Videos if that show is still around. you guys see that mess oh you did see it well in that case let's move you up a little bit it's probably about to get real exciting so that beehive probably weighs a couple hundred pounds weighs more than me empty <laughs> that's that's the new lace stroth hive. What's a lace stroth hive? You'll have to wait and find out soon. I think what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to like, so I couldn't load it up on its side like it is now because of the landing board. But if I flip it 180 degrees, I could. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm probably going to end up messing up buckles and all kinds of stuff.
there we go now i got to get them leveled i got to get a shovel get them leveled i still have to get the top inner covers cut and uh the vents installed before i can even put the bees in so let me get off here and like get that done and crazy animal sounds. Let me tell you, if you ain't ever dug a hole in Kentucky soil, it's nothing but heavy clay and rocks and roots. I don't know, three or four big roots I had to cut through, numerous rocks, all kinds of rocks, all kinds of hard clay soil, like you toss that hemp, toss that shovel down in there, barely even scratch the surface. But well, that's good enough for the bees. You can see that uh, this end down here is about a foot and a half off the ground, this end up here is only about four or five, maybe six inches. So that's kind of like the... Uh, angle in my yard well actually you can see it really well right there that right end down here is sitting on a four inch block down here it's over four feet tall if you ever wonder why my shovels always look new now you know if you ain't never used one of these military shovel uh, it's an Ames And I know it's probably not going to be deep enough. Good enough. Alright, so my cell phone's about dead. I'll show you what I've got done. I've got it done enough to actually put the bees in. These hives now. They've been chilling in the back of the Jeep with the uh, door open for two or three hours while I finished up these hives you know of course I should on the video I got them leveled I got the inner covers done I'll go ahead and switch this around so you can see what I'm talking about so we dug the holes and got the hives leveled I cut out these boards as the top covers made sure I had enough to go all the way across um, I made one board with a uh, sugar syrup hole in it. I had sugar syrup I made last night. I got some uh, pollen patties. I've got some spare frames. And I also made, I kind of jerry-rigged this out of uh, electric fence wire. <laughs> Just two screws and some fence wire end to end then wrapped around each other <laughs> uh, it'll work and i did basically the same thing on this one here i also created the divider board you can see there that divider board what that does <clears throat> where i can keep the hive relatively small for right now till they get in here and get established basically is what that's for uh, moving these hives busted just about all of the fasteners they were just cheap hardware store fastener or clasp. I actually already ordered replacements because I never liked these from the get-go. But yeah, I will, uh, I don't have vents in the, what I'll end up doing, I'll take a couple of these boards and I'll put some screen vents. Like in the other video I did, I'll go ahead and link to that. But there's a, I'll put like a screen vent and then I still have to put the screen 
on the holes that I cut in the both ends of the top for the uh, circulation side to side. But these are ready to go. I'm going to get the bees, bring them out here, and uh, get them installed.